The Sundarbans, a name that evokes awe and fear. This vast mangrove forest straddling India and Bangladesh is a place of haunting beauty and unparalleled danger. Here, amidst the tangled roots and saltwater creeks, lives a creature of legend, the Royal Bengal Tiger. But these are not just any tigers. These are the man-eaters of the Sundarbans. The Sundarbans tigers have a fearsome reputation, one that has been etched in the annals of history. Unlike their counterparts elsewhere, these tigers have developed a taste for human flesh. Stories abound of fishermen and honey collectors vanishing without a trace. Their boats found drifting aimlessly in the murky water. The very air seems to crackle with an undercurrent of fear, a testament to the tiger's reign of terror. The Sundarbans, with their labyrinthine waterways and dense vegetation, provide the perfect hunting ground for these stealthy predators. The tigers here have adapted to this unique environment, becoming adept at swimming long distances and ambushing their prey from the water's edge. They are the undisputed masters of their domain and woe betide any human who crosses their path. One intriguing aspect of the Sundarbans tigers is their size. They are on average smaller than their counterparts in other parts of India. This difference in size has puzzled scientists for years, but the prevailing theory points to the unique challenges posed by their environment. The Sundarbans, with their limited prey base and challenging terrain, may have exerted evolutionary pressure on the tigers, favoring smaller, more agile individuals. These smaller tigers are better equipped to navigate the dense undergrowth and hunt the smaller prey animals that inhabit the mangroves. Their smaller size, however, does not diminish their ferocity. In fact, some argue that their smaller size makes them even more dangerous. Their agility and speed are enhanced, allowing them to move with lightning reflexes through the tangled mangroves. They are like phantoms in the forest, their presence felt but rarely seen until it's too late. The exact number of tigers remaining in the Sundarbans is a subject of much debate. Estimates vary, but most experts agree that their numbers are dangerously low. The latest census, conducted jointly by India and Bangladesh, suggests that there are fewer than 150 tigers left in the entire Sundarbans region. This dwindling population is a cause for serious concern. The Sundarbans tigers are already classified as endangered and their numbers continue to decline due to a combination of factors. Habitat loss, poaching and human-wildlife conflict are all taking their toll on these magnificent creatures. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the remaining tigers and their habitat. The governments of India and Bangladesh have established several protected areas within the Sundarbans and there is growing awareness of the need to conserve these apex predators. However, the challenges are immense and the future of the Sundarbans tigers hangs precariously in the balance. The people of the Sundarbans live in a constant state of fear and respect for the tigers. They understand the power of these predators and have developed a complex relationship with them that is deeply intertwined with their culture and beliefs. The locals often refer to the tigers as bar, a term that reflects both fear and reverence. They believe that speaking the tiger's name aloud will only invite its attention, so they use euphemisms and whispers to discuss their movements. Fishermen and honey collectors who venture deep into the tiger's domain often carry amulets and perform rituals to ward off evil spirits and appease the forest gods. They are acutely aware of the dangers that lurk in the mangroves, and their every action is dictated by a deep-seated respect for the tiger's power. The saltwater environment of the Sundarbans is thought to play a significant role in the tiger's man-eating behavior. The scarcity of fresh water in the mangroves forces the tigers to drink brackish water, which can lead to kidney problems and other health issues. This constant physiological stress may contribute to their aggression and make them more likely to attack humans. Additionally, the saltwater environment may also affect the availability of their natural prey, forcing them to seek out alternative food sources, including humans. 
The high salinity of the water also makes it difficult for tigers to decompose carcasses which they rely on for scavenging. This further limits their food options and may push them towards more desperate measures such as attacking humans. The man-eating tigers of the Sundarbans are a stark reminder of the delicate balance between humans and nature. They are both a threat and a vital part of this unique ecosystem. Their presence, however fearsome, helps to regulate prey populations and maintain the health of the mangroves. The Sundarbans tigers stand as guardians of a fragile realm, a world teetering on the brink of change. Their survival is inextricably linked to the well-being of the entire ecosystem, and their loss would have far-reaching consequences for both the natural world and the human communities that depend on it. The future of the Sundarbans tigers hangs precariously in the balance. It is up to us, as stewards of this planet, to ensure that these magnificent creatures continue to roam the mangroves for generations to come.